Hello viewers, my name is Korovidas. I welcome you all to my channel. Those who are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel to get the CBSE updates and many other interesting educational videos. So before we start today's video, let me give you one good news. On 14th of November on Children's Day, we are going to organize one Children's Day program. Don't forget to watch. And those who have not yet subscribed, please subscribe the channel so that all the new videos you get in time. So today's topic is again very interesting. How to overcome the fear of maths? Yes, this is the most common question asked by the students. Let me tell you, mathematics is a subject which helps us to develop our thinking and reasoning power. It makes us more responsible, calculative, punctual, so many other things. So, whole world is controlled by mathematics. So mathematics is the boundary of our life. The main thing in the world is controlled by mathematics. Can you guess what? Yes, you were right. That is money, without which we cannot think of moving a single step nowadays. So that money is controlled by mathematics. Isn't it interesting? So today I'm going to give you some tips through which you can develop interest in the subject. You can overcome the fear. Okay, first, develop an interest for the subject, maths. So, because if you love something, you are ready to do anything for that. So, how can you develop a love for the subject? Read different type of books, motivational stories, different mathematicians like Aryabhatta who discovered zero, then Ramanujan, Sakuntala Devi, read the biographies of these mathematicians, which will help you to gain confidence in the subject. So gradually you can develop an interest in the subject. Next, breathing exercises will help you to increase your concentration power. Then if you can increase your concentration power, then ultimately it will help you to concentrate in your studies for longer time. So breathing exercises like all of you know, Anulam, Bilulam, then Kapal Bhati, so many are there. So you can try. Definitely this will help you. Next, develop a habit of asking questions, which is very, very important. You remember one thing, Ask questions, as many questions, whatever questions come to your mind. Please ask your teachers or whoever it is. Then your concept will be clear. Because if you ask questions, you will be full for one day. But if you do not ask questions, you will be full for whole life. So ultimately, you will develop a fear for the subject and you will start hating the subject. So develop a habit of asking questions then next if you're finding any difficulty in any sum then take help from your friends try to solve the problem and go to the next step because if you try to get rid of the problem then what will happen back of your mind you will develop again a fear for the subject so Solve it and go to the next step. Next, relate maths with day-to-day -day life. The uses of mathematics in our day-to-day -day life. Let me give you some most common examples. First, the mobile. Yes, the mobile we are using. We are communicating people by pressing the numbers. Right? So we cannot think one day nowadays without mobile. So we are using mobile with the help of numbers. We are communicating people with the help of numbers. Next, the basic needs of the people, roti, kapra, and makan. Yes, these are the basic needs of the people. To buy foods, to buy clothes, or to build a house. We should know maths. So without maths, we cannot do these things. 
next maths is present in nature also you have seen the beautiful patterns the leaves of the plants all the things the what to say the nets of the spider everywhere we can see the maths symmetry we can see everywhere symmetry the beautiful patterns we can see maths next visualize the things means the room where are you sitting now watching the video that is either cuboidal or cubical the ice cream cone your favorite ice cream cone cone that is a term of maths cylinder without which your mother cannot cook food for you the dice of ludo we are playing with our parents or with our friends that is cubical in shape cube yes then carom board square in size the windows doors everything rectangular in shape some are trapezium all these are terms of mathematics isn't it interesting okay let me show you this is a maths box okay in a maths box what is the shape of this box this is cuboidal cuboid this is a cuboid so how many faces one two three four five six six faces how many edges 12 faces one two three four then down also one two three four eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve faces and corners also you can count one two three four five six seven eight so eight corners, 12 edges and six faces. You just see, you have to relate everything with our day to day life. When we wake up early in the morning, we wake up early in the morning, watching, looking at the numbers on the wall clocks, right? So morning till night, every time we are using numbers, relate the things everywhere, English, when you are appearing for English exam, what numbers are there? Question number one, question number two. So try to relate the things. So these are the beauty of maths. Try to explore. Then you can develop an interest in the subject. Right, girls? Now this is for applicable for the kids also as well as for the higher class students also dear parents please give your child pocket money no need to give them a big amount please give them smaller amounts rupees 10 rupees 20 or rupees 50 according to their age so if you give them pocket money simply you please don't give them pocket money uh, you have to give them some small work according to their age then after that you give them that money this way they will learn the value of money also and tell them to count the money after every two weeks or three weeks or one week according to their convenience and once they start counting money they will feel and they will feel great they will enjoy the feeling of counting money which will help them to create interest in the subject. In, and once they develop interest in the subject, they will be able to overcome the fear of maths. Next, suppose you are traveling somewhere and it will take one hour to reach the destination. So your kid, maybe who are of use uh, age uh, it means five to six or seven years or even eight years old also so what can you do you can ask them multiplication table you can ask them simple addition subtraction multiplication division believe me they will enjoy like anything this trick i tried with my daughter and i have seen it really worked so they will feel very happy next which is very very important dear parents please listen to it carefully 
sometimes the develop a fear for the subject because of the society because of the environment because of the ghar ka jaisa wo environment hota hai uske liye kyunki you try to change the attitude towards the subject don't think that mathematics is very hard it is very easy interesting yes you just imagine every time we are solving a sum we don't know what answer we are going to get is it not interesting so change the attitude towards the subject the society we have to change the society right actually one stamp is put on the subject that mathematics is hard actually it is not hard जब भी क्या होता है नेक्स्ट डे मैथ्स एग्जाम है तो घर का एनवायरमेंट ही चेंज हो जाता है कल मैथ्स एग्जाम है यस ठीक से पढ़ाई करो ऐसा करो वैसा करो कैसा होता है उन लोगों के मन में फियर भर दिया जाता है है कि नहीं आप लोग बोलिए और लेकिन जब लैंग्वेज होता है हिंदी होता है इंग्लिश होता है कोई दूसरा सब्जेक्ट होता है उस टाइम में क्या होता है It's okay, no problem. Tomorrow you have Hindi. Okay, parents are also relaxed. You are stress free. But when there is maths exam, you are in tension, and that tension you are inserting into the brain of the children, right? And ultimately, it they develop a fear for the subject. They think what will happen if we are not able to score good marks, right? so try to change the attitude towards the subject which is very very important then last let me tell you the three p's of mathematics yes the three p's first p practice practice and practice second p patience third p persistent practice is the only key to success without practice you cannot expect of getting good marks in exam you can try yourself however you may be intelligent if you appear for a exam without practice you just see your result and same if you appear for that exam with proper practice then you, you will see the difference so definitely you have to practice every day practice regular practice is very very important and slowly gradually you will develop a love for the subject because you will be able to solve the problems easily you can save your time also in exam you will gain gain confident right so you have to practice regularly this is very very important then patience you have to keep patience you remember mistake may be there maybe every time you are not getting the correct answer but you have to keep patience and you should not give up and that patience how can you gain as i told you with the help of meditation and yoga and breathing exercises you can gain you can develop your patience capacity you can increase and you have to be persistent means you have to be stubborn you are not going to give up if you are not getting the correct answer then in spite of in spite of the obstacles difficulties you'll try to overcome those difficulties you'll not give up unless and until you get the correct answer right so this way you have to practice now i think i have covered all the points from my experience yes so make maths your favorite subject all the best watch the video fully last time do i am telling yes once again you can watch the video you just see the points definitely it is going to help you to score full marks in maths exam you will gain confident okay 
and if you like the video please like share and subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest updates till then bye bye take care and keep smiling